Hey there, welcome to Clarify Review Hub. When it comes to staying safe and having a comfortable ride, what's the most important piece of gear? Your helmet, of course. The year 2025 is packed with cutting edge technology and fresh designs in motorcycle helmets. In today's video, we're checking out the best helmets on the market. So, which helmet offers you top-notch protection and ultimate comfort? Stick around to find out, because these picks don't just look good, they meet the highest safety standards too. And don't forget, we're doing a giveaway when we hit 10,000 subscribers. One lucky winner will get a product worth between $200 and $500. All you have to do is subscribe to enter. Alright, ready to dive in? First up, we're diving into the Arai Tour X5 Adventure Helmet. With this model, Arai aimed to take the Tour X4 to the next level, and we all know that not every new version is an automatic win. So make sure to check out this review before making your decision. Let's start with the price. The Arai Tour X5 comes in at a hefty 879 euros, making it one of the most expensive adventure helmets out there. But there's a reason for the high price tag. The Tour X5 features Arai's renowned super fiber shell construction. It's made with a fiberglass composite outer shell that's incredibly strong. Plus, this model is certified to the new and more rigorous 22.06 safety standards, meaning extra protection. Design-wise, this helmet is almost like having four helmets in one. For example, you can remove the peak to transform it into a regular full-face helmet. Or, you can take off the visor and wear goggles for off-road riding. However, there's one thing to note. There's no built-in sun visor. Arai left it out to maintain the helmet's structural integrity, which might be annoying if you often ride in low sunlight. Now, let's talk about the weight. At 1,670 grams, the Tour X5 sticks to Arai's usual safety-first design philosophy. During our test rides, the Tour X5 had a noise level of around 100 decibels. It's not the quietest helmet on the market, but it's definitely decent and two decibels quieter than the previous model. When it comes to ventilation, it really shines. It's got three adjustable top vents, a large chin vent, and adjustable exhaust ports to keep you cool. Up next, uh, we're taking a look at the Shui Neotech 3 Modular Helmet. First off, let's talk about the price. The Neotech 3 comes in at around $900 making it a pretty expensive option. The price hike is due to increased production costs and updated designs. The helmet is still made with advanced integrated Matrix Plus technology, which combines layered fiberglass, organic fibers, and resin for a strong and secure construction. The Neotech 3 is your typical modular helmet. You can flip up the chin bar to grab a drink or cool off during a break. However, keep an eye on the weight. It's a little over 4 pounds, making it heavier than the previous model. That extra weight could be tough on your neck during long rides. When it comes to the ventilation system, both the front and top vents have been redesigned. They offer a more aerodynamic and sleek look, improving airflow and reducing wind noise. The updated CNS3 face shield opens easily with a central button, and the anti-fog pin lock insert is included in the box. Comfort-wise, the Neotech 3 is pretty impressive. The cheek pads are softer and more user-friendly, especially for riders who wear glasses. The fastening system is a bit of a debate. Instead of the traditional double D-ring design, it uses a ratchet system. Some people like it, while others don't. Finally, there are new slots for the integrated SRL3 communication system. Made by Sina, this system features Harman Kardon speakers for excellent sound quality. Next up, we're going to talk about the Alpine Stars R10 helmet. The first thing you notice when you pick up the R10 is how lightweight it is. This makes it super comfortable for long rides, taking the strain off your neck. The helmet's exterior features an aerodynamic design with a sleek, glossy finish that really stands out. The carbon fiber design at the back is particularly impressive, striking a great balance between aesthetics and durability. Visually, it definitely has a pro look and feel to it. Moving to the interior, the wide field of vision is what impressed me the most. It makes a huge difference when you're looking to the sides while riding. The interior pads are also very comfortable and adjustable, so you can customize the fit just the way you like. For those who like to vlog, there's plenty of space to install a few microphones, 
making this helmet a great option for content creators. However, not everything is perfect. Let's go over a few downsides. First, the helmet's dark visor isn't fully tinted, so your face is still somewhat visible. You might need to get a darker visor for better coverage. Another drawback is in colder weather. While the ventilation system works really well, it could be a disadvantage on chilly days. In conclusion, the Alpine Stars R10 is both stylish and functional. The wide field of view and lightweight design definitely enhance riding comfort. While the price is on the higher side, I'd say it's worth it for the design and durability. However, it's important to consider the potential issue of air leaks in cold weather and the need for a darker visor. Next up, we're reviewing the HJC Alpha 91 Modular Helmet. Starting with the outer shell, the Alpha 91 is made from a composite called PIMEVO. It's a blend of aramid, carbon, fiberglass, and flax fibers designed to optimize shock protection. However, the chin bar is still made of plastic, which could be considered a weak point in terms of structural integrity. The helmet weighs 1,752 grams, so it's a bit heavier than the previous model. The chin bar mechanism has been redesigned. When lifted, the chin bar moves back and down, creating a more compact profile. The opening and closing mechanism is smooth and quiet, giving it a high quality feel. However, it can sometimes be tricky to ensure the chin bar is fully locked. One of the helmet's standout features is the ventilation. The chin vents and large top slider vent provide excellent airflow, keeping you cool, especially in hot weather. The visor opens with a tab on the left side and has 11 positions. The anti-fog insert is included, which is a great addition. The internal sun visor is very handy and has a mechanism that allows it to drop down further when needed. Plus, it has an anti-fog coating. Inside, the Alpha 91 is all about comfort. The liner is fully removable and glasses friendly. Extra padding around the neck area helps make rides quieter. The helmet is also equipped with dedicated slots for HJC's 21B and 50B intercom systems made by Cena. Lastly, we're reviewing one of the newest and most talked about modular helmets, the Schuberth C5. The Schuberth C5 is the first modular helmet to meet the ECE 22.06 safety standard. This new standard involves more demanding impact tests, marking a significant step forward in helmet safety. The outer shell is made from vacuum compressed fiberglass reinforced with carbon fiber. So what are the advantages of this helmet? First off, the C5 has an impressive aerodynamic design. It stays very stable on the road with minimal wind resistance. The ventilation system is excellent, especially in hot weather. With two separate air intakes on the chin and a large vent on top, the interior liner is very comfortable and made from special inner power fabric that minimizes sweat keeping you comfortable even on long rides. Plus, the liner is customizable to fit different head shapes. The helmet also comes equipped with built-in speakers and antennas, making it ready for an integrated communication system. But what about the downsides? Like any helmet, the Schuberth C5 has its drawbacks. First, there's the weight. At 1,682 grams, it's a bit heavy and could strain your neck on long rides. There have also been reports of issues with the visor and pinlock system. In heavy rain, water can sometimes collect on the inside of the visor, and the pinlock may not always be effective. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. That wraps up today's review. So what's your favorite helmet? Share it with us in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Stay safe out there.